is it um, yeah. Katrina? Can you explain how you got eighty-seven and a half percent? Oh, so quickly because I know that when you divide eight into a hundred, it's equals. It's well, it's a remainder fraction. It would have a remainder of four. So then you do four is half of eight, so it would be twelve and a half percent. That would be the percent, and then once you know that, you can just keep um, adding 12.5% to and keep going, and then eventually you get 100 or 7 eighths. Or 7 eighths. Can anyone else give an explanation? Like, <coughs> 1 eighth is in percentage, so I did 100 divided by 8, and that's 12.5. And then I did 12.5 times 7. Um, and I got 87.5%. Okay. Zane, can you repeat what you did in strategy? Mm -hmm. um, so what I did was I did 100 divided by 8, which is 12.5, and then I did 12.5 times 7, which is 87.5%. She did 12 times 7, I think? Yeah. She ended up dividing she first. 12 right? times 7, and then she did 1 half times 7, I think, and then she got... 87 point. You did a little differently, Zane, I think. Milo. Um, I did it a different way. I know that um, 1 eighth is 12 and a half percent, but you could also do the division to get this. And then I just did 100 percent minus 12 and a half percent and got 87 and a half percent. Jay, can you repeat what he did? Can you repeat that? Um, well, I know 1 eighth is 12 and a half percent, but you could also use division to get that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I minus um, 12.5% from 100% and I got 87.5%. He knew 1 eighth was 12.5% and 8 eighths was 1 whole, which is 100%. So he, and 7 eighths was 1 eighth less than 100%. So he subtracted, he did 100% minus 12.5%. Equals, we had the 87.5. Yeah. Did anyone do anything differently to solve this problem? Theon. Um, the way I did it was that I knew um, eight's a multiple of four, so three fourth is 75%, so it's like eight, seven, eight, yeah, eight, wait, no, six eighths are also. 75%, so what I did was I added 12 and a half plus 75. So let me put that, I think we took that away. We also had six eighths, right? So you were looking here at this, right? Okay, can you share? So you knew what, nice and loud. Share with, turn, turn, just turn, you can turn and talk like you're the teacher. Come on over here, so just point to the fractions you were talking about. Okay, I knew that six eighths um, was equal to Three fourths, which is seventy percent, seventy-five percent. So I added twelve and a half percent to seventy-five percent. Yeah. So she, yeah. she, yeah. who can repeat what she did? She looked at it a little differently. Hen, what did she do? She um, knew that three fourths was equal to six eighths, and then she knew that she she needed one eighth to to go to get to seven eighths. So she knew that three she knew that three fourths was equal to 75% plus 1 eighth, and 1 eighth was 12 and a half, and she did, she did 75% plus 12 and a half, and got 87 and a half percent. So, would you say it looked a little like this? Yeah. So, Yana, is that what you did? You took the 6 eighths and you found what? 75%. Which you knew, because these two are what? What kind of fractions? Equivalent. The equivalent fractions. And you knew one eighth was? Twelve and a half percent. Excellent. You added those together. So you knew this would have to be what? Seven eighths or three fifths? Yep. Seven eighths? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Try to talk with your neighbor. See if you can follow what Zeon did and we'll come back and share. So about 15 seconds. Turn and talk. All right, Ella, what do you think? Three fourths. What do you, can you just repeat back kind of in your own words what Zion did? Um, she, 
she did six eighths plus one eighth, which is seven eighths, which is one eighth more than six eighths, which is 75%. And so she did 75% plus 12.5% to get 87.5%. Great. So thumbs up if you're in agreement that we're right on, that A is seven eighths.